Welcome back to Posh Paws. Today we're working on Bandit, the Shetland Sheepdog. Bandit recently had knee surgery, so I have my groomer Natalie helping hold her up to support her so she's not putting as much weight on her leg. And then I have my stepdaughter Natalie behind the camera. At the end of the video, they do swap for a little bit though. What I'm doing here is shaving out her paw pads. It just helps her get a little bit of extra grip on slippery floors. Then we move on to sanitary trim. Nice view, huh? Once I get done doing the sanitary, I move on to dremeling her nails. I probably didn't do the best job on Bandit today because I was trying to uh, move as quickly as I could, but gently too, just because I wanted to get her finished so she could lay back down in the kennel and rest that leg. You guys can see a bit of a struggle going on here i'm not hurting her in any way i'm actually trying my hardest to hold her in the most natural position for her she just really did not want her nails being done so she was fighting me but we did have to get it done it would help her um, walk a little bit better For this groom, I'm going a bit out of uh, order for how I normally brush and scissor and things like that. Um, but again, like I said, I was just trying to get her done in the most efficient way possible so she could lay back down in the kennel. Here I'm just trimming around all of the paws and the legs.
When I brush out a dog, I use a diluted conditioner mixture. I brush, then comb, brush, comb, but I spray in between as well. When I brush the tail, I don't brush directly on the, um, the tailbone itself. I just use my fingers as a base underneath and I'm, I'm brushing on top of my fingers and I come off the side of the actual tail. When you comb, it really ensures that you're getting all of the tangles. When you brush, you can actually go over the mats and it doesn't really do anything to just go over them except for you're brushing the outer layer. And if you have a double coated dog or even a dog that has drop coat, it is just going to create the mats underneath. Well, not create, but it's not gonna get the mats out underneath unless you are just a really good expert brusher. <laughs> Right, this is the most difficult part in my opinion to brush out it's kind of the most fun too for these kind of dogs um, when you're brushing this out you do want to work in sections start from the bottom and go to the top this way you're not just going over the mats underneath the hair If you do catch a snag, you can see that I kind of hold on to the base of the hair and that way I'm not pulling at the skin as much and it's not gonna hurt as bad. Um, if I didn't hold on to the base of the hair, there's more of a chance that it's gonna hurt and then she might turn around and try to bite me and be like, hey, that hurt, you know, stop pulling me.
just shaping up the rump. Normally I do leave a little bit more here, but since the other leg was shaved, I tried to take a little more off just to make it match better. Um, normally I just give them a couple really cute butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm just going to move on to the rest of the body for brushing and combing. The same rules apply, just work in sections, that way you don't lose where you're at. And it's uh, more of a guarantee for you to get all of the little tangles and all the dead hair pulled out. From here on out, I am going to officially stop talking. I specifically made this video for Bandit's dad to see how I brush her out. Um, I know sometimes it's easier to watch what I do versus me try to explain it. If you have any other questions, just drop a comment below and I will try to answer it the best I can. I know I didn't do much de-shedding in this video, but if you stay on top of the brushing and combing, 
um, on a double coated dog, but it will actually help the de-shedded process and it will definitely cut down a lot on the hair that you see at home. And I know that not everybody has a double coated breed dog, but my next video is actually on a drop coated dog and that one was a request by his owner as well. If you are enjoying this channel, please give it a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, and if there's a specific breed or mixed breed or D shed or haircut that you guys would like to see, please be sure to comment below and let me know and I will get that video up for you. Okay, I'm done talking now. Enjoy the rest of the video.